Welcome back to Dexter Plays Vintage Story. Welcome back into Vintage Story. Today, I think I want to start off with getting my my uh, cattail farm harvested. Get it cooking again. Uh, the cattails are going to be used for poultices and for hives for the bees up there. Because the bees are also ready to harvest. So I need to get cracking, man. Something ain't working right. <laughs> and I know what it is. It's this dude behind the scythe that's not working quite right. You gotta pick it up, buddy. You gotta pick it up. It's two o'clock in the morning. You're out here doing farm work. Do you, do you realize you're supposed to be up like at the crack of dawn to do farm work? What the hell? Uh, yeah, you know, you're missing some. Scythe is very nice to have. Makes things go so much quicker. Hey, generally speaking, it makes things go so much quicker. Boopity boop 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 de boop 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 boop. I am going to boop all of the cattails. You're booped. Um, I also uh, did a harvest on the. Uh, berries outside in the back. So I collected all the berries. I also made a food with uh, meat and cabbage and berries. So uh, it came up pretty dense on the calories, which is great. You know, being able to like have a bite and be fully sated rather than having to go through a whole container of food, you know, as you would with, like, uh, cookie dough. <laughs> or an ice cream. You know, you, you open up the Ben's and Jerry ice cream, you, you eat from top to bottom, right? The, is, is that how you do it? I, I, I think that's the proper way to eat Ben and Jerry's. Oh, come on. Um, and so I will show you that as soon as we're done here with this as well. Let me, uh, let me crack through here. Actually, let's take a peek here. Where is my... There it is. Pot of cooked food. So you can see I have 180, uh, 840 protein, 120 fruit, 450 vegetable. And this is what I did before, which is just protein and some parsnips and radish. So the vegetable is a little bit less. So the cabbage does convert to more. Plus I've got the uh, fruits and the fruits in there. So when we look at our character, we can see fruit, vegetable, grain, protein, dairy. Um, I'm going to need to eat some more fruits because uh, clearly throughout the winter I was not eating enough in my I haven't taken my vitamins to keep up my my, my health. So, uh, yeah, we'll be... Maybe I'll make some jam, and I'll eat some jam. The jam is made with the berries and the honey. The, uh... Saw in the last episode, if assuming I didn't cut that piece out, that the, uh... Temporal storm went away, or the temporal portal... Temporal portal went away. Temp but it feels like a tongue twister. Uh, it did go away on the side of the house, but I looked outside here to see if the same temporal rift was gone out here just to kind of get a feel for if they generated at the same time. You know, if one is still up and the other one's down, maybe the, the number of torches I put down had an effect, but it was gone out here too. So there's no, my, my results are inconclusive. We'll see. Of course, once we get this done and we harvest some beehives and we get some more lanterns out where we can have everything lit up outside. This is my goal, to get everything nice and lit up so I don't have to worry about all these guys popping in in the middle of the night, especially now that they're much nastier. We'll have to do a build at some point. I'm, I'm not quite ready for it, but we're going to do a, a, a build to uh, hunt drifters. Okay, in the past, it was the hunting pit. The hunting pit still works great for wolves and other critters like that, but it doesn't work for the drifters because they can still toss rocks up at you, and they are pretty aggressive about it. Okay, let's make sure I've got all of my cattails. I don't want any of them to go to waste. I saw some of the words still left over here. Right? There's one. A couple more. Last batch. Right, got them all? Good. 
How am I doing now? Wow, look at all that. That's great. Let's get up here. Hello, bees. How you doing? Buzz, buzz, buzz. Uh, I think I have lots. So I'll do this. Uh oh. Nope. Not not as lots as I thought I had. Oh no, there's yeah, I do have lots. Hold on. Right there. Woo! <laughs> okay, I'm set. No such thing as overkill in this game, I'm telling you. Uh, Alright, I need... More of these skeps. To do the replacement. So, how many skeps am I replacing? I have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So I'm going to be re replacing half of those, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, yep, I'm going to be replacing 10 of them. Uh, over there. This could be interesting with the bees. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Cool. Um, before I do that, let me unload a little bit of space here. I got the spears out because I had a couple of, I had some moles in my hunting pit. They, they just happened to be in there. I did not go out and grab them and pull them back and stick them in the in the thing so I could have some more uh, some more some more bush meat. That that wasn't me. That was another guy. It's the other guy that looks like me. Alright, so I got those two put away. Yeah, we're we're eh. put away one of my shovels and axes. So that goes up in here. Do I do three or four at a time? Let's do four at a time. All right. I'm going to see if I can get them all replaced. Dodging bees and everything. Here's the challenge. Yep, harvestable. We're going to start right on off with one of them. Okay, that's good. Yes. Not facing the right way. Sacrilege. No. Next one. Gotta move here because the bees are gonna come back. Another batch of bees. I think that's three. It's gonna be hilarious if I get killed by bees. Four. All right. So I got all my bees. Hi guys. Oh yeah, they're 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 at all the the target dummies. Yeah, the target dummies are all getting worked over. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah, and I have to go back through here because apparently you can't pick shit up right. I don't know what the deal is with that. You go in there. You go in there. We still have mostly enough. Hi, another batch. Let's. Let's do uh, enough to get another another batch of um, a batch of skeps. So I want uh, three more skeps. One, two, three. Cool. And now we can squeeze this stuff out and wait for daylight. I also need to do some replacing there. I'll do that in between episodes. Let's close this thing off. All right, so how much did I get? I got... 
drop something in here? Huh. Uh, what'd I get? 8, 16, 24, 30. Nice. All done. I have 29 beeswax out of that. And shift, right? Yep. 1.54 liters. Wait. Uh, is it alt? No. Uh, yes, it is alt. Excellent. So um, I want to take this one, which is one of my best foods. And I'm going to seal that puppy up for later storage. Don't give me that back, damn it. You go in there. That I'll eat some other time. Is this more? Oh, it is more honeycomb. I'm wondering why it was a 29 and not 30. There we go. 29. So, now if I... Oh, it's three, isn't it? Damn it. Well, there's nine more. I can seal. I'll put this in here for sealing later. Yeah. So I can seal two more up. But now that I have candles, I need some clear... Clear quartz. Nine, huh? So I want 18. I think I have, uh, that'll be, nine lanterns will be awesome. Copper plates, bismuth plates, iron. I don't want to do iron. I definitely want to do the bismuth. Lighting is important. All right. So there is a light here that does not seem to be doing all that great. I mean, there was a deal right there. I got a light there that should be taking care of at least spawners. Oh, I know. Up, up the roof. Let's get the roof dealt with. I think the roof is going to take four, isn't it? Thank you for letting me pick that up. Okay. So that should keep the roof clear of spawns. And that way when I'm in the garden... I won't have things dropping on my head, as they do. You know, like they do. Um, let's pop you out. Put you down. Fire, the, the rain put that one out. That looks good. I think. So the question is, is can I get up on that? Do I don't have a dirt piece here. Let's do this. No. Nope. Let's do a full on run. Nope. All right. do a typical Minecraft secure of an area. What is that, anyway? Muddy gravel. Don't want muddy gravel. Let's do barren dirt. Don't care about the, the low-quality dirt. 
Actually, right here might be a good one. Not what I said. There we go. Thank you. Um, and if I want to secure this over here along the edges, put one on this side. I think I'll put one all the way on the edge here. Trees have grown. Hello. Thank you for telling me that you can you can spawn up there, you rat bastard. Are you finished? You are. Good. Took you long enough. Do my weeding. You suck. Threw that over the gate. Alright, I, I just did all of my lanterns, didn't I? Yep, I'm lanternless again. <laughs> However, the garden's lit up. The roof is lit up. And the entrance over there got a light. So I'm I'm feeling feeling better. I also want to do a design of some type, maybe of uh, a lamp post. Might be nice. All right. So we have finished this thing off. I think the next thing I want to do. Nope, not you. That away there. I will save this one for later. Do I have. I got the pot of cooked food. Let's finish off this. Empty, right? No, it's not empty. I still have another serving. Yeah, I have a little bit more of a serving. That's that's doing really good, actually. Okay. Uh, keep that. I want to take this with me. Got an extra, no, that's a hoe. I don't want a hoe with me. What am I, why am I carrying a hoe? Damn. Okay, I would like to take another iron pick because I want to go back and do the, uh, into the mine and see if I can grab some more iron over there. I, no, I don't, do I have a, another pick left? Yes, I do have some more picks left. Okay, cool. Um, I did also have the last piece there. I made a steel long blade. Let's grab this and take a look real quick. You here. All right, so the iron long blade is... You are noisy. I'm stepping over here where you, you are not so loud. The iron long blade is a durability of 850 until tier 4. It does 4 points of damage. has a range of 2.5. For comparison to the uh, thing before I go there, let's go down here. I want to take a look at one of the uh, one of the spears because if we're getting in the throwing contests, it might end up being a spear. I'm still not enthralled with the effectiveness of the um, the arrows. Okay, so that's 140. It does. This is a range of 3.5. It does almost three points of damage. But definitely a bit better for the damage. Its tier is, well, it's just the iron blade. Here we've got a durability of 2,125 with a tool tier of five. So remember, the difference between the tool tier and the thing you're hitting, you do more damage if there's a larger difference between them, right? So if I attack a, a tier three critter with a tier five weapon, I'm gonna do a lot of damage. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be doing 4.3 points of damage. It's 2.5 reach, which is probably the same. It is it's a little bit more damage, but it's actually going to hit a lot harder. Hey, I need a tester. You. <laughs> Screw you. One, two, three. Okay. Dodge, swerve, swerve and dodge. But I'm not going to take that with me right now. 
I'm just going to keep with my iron one for the moment. But I uh, just wanted to show you that I had a, 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 a one of those nice ones. All right. I'm going to head on over to... I got enough food there. I've got enough of these. I've got the extra iron pick. Great. I'm going to head on over to the mining camp. Rushing too hard. I gotta dig my way out. <laughs> Coming in the backside. up here. Oh, don't need a whole bunch. Okay. Ladders. Trap door. I only need one trap door. Because we're going down. I think I, I do have one more section here. I'm, uh, as I usually think I'm going to start doing with all the mining, I'm going to go ahead and uh, accelerate that so you guys don't have to see it uh, in, in painful detail.
right, well, we just came back up after digging down 80 blocks. Uh, I did a normal pattern of 10 down and then um, take a sample, go out 10, take samples. So I get a swath that is roughly 25 blocks wide. And of course I get to go down and, and now I get to recover from all of this uh, temporal damage that took going all the way down. Um, I did hit a number of things on the way down. So let's take a quick look at our map. I made notes. So uh, here you can see we hit some black coal on level three. Uh, we hit some black, a brown coal also on level three. So level three coal is all in here. We also ran into the cave down here. Uh, the, the, I think it's over here. We ran into the cave that uh, we fell into earlier. So it prevented us from getting all the way out. We also found at the very bottom hematite, which is what I'm looking for. And then we found some quartz with silver down at level five. We actually punched through the quartz layer there. So that worked out pretty well. Um, I'm going to go take a quick peek at my vintage materials just to make sure hematite is indeed iron. Yes. And um, I got it way at the bottom. So it's like granite. So I should be able to get large, rich, very rich, you know, all this sort of stuff all the way down there. So we've got our iron problem not solved, but at least we've found where we need to go to find iron. So I'm going to end up going down into here and mining this stuff out. Uh, and, and, you know, if you like that kind of thing, let me know. I mean, I, I do the, the, the casting down of the mine, the initial branching of the mine, to see what's down there um, as an accelerated thing. So you can kind of see the process I go through to get that. And the other thing I do, just a few couple things I can do, ladders every other space and it works out fine at each level i throw in a uh, trap door so that anything that spawns down there mines of moria style we don't have to deal with uh they get stuck down below and also there's a few things i'm going to keep here i'm going to keep the box site but the rest of the stuff can, can be trashed i got plenty of, of sources for that and then we'll keep the little bit of coal and the piece of quartz with, with natural silver in it that we we punch through on the way down and uh, we will, like I said, we'll come back in the next episode and I'll have mined all that stuff out and we'll see where we're at. Thanks again for joining me. Take care. Bye bye. Creeping through the shadows and the corners of your mind. I go where the wind blows. I run, but I don't hide. I hear the call of the wild whispering the name. I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a I'm a 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 I'm a